Hello there, Sir Daniel 1975 back again, and I'm here with a um, video about the, uh, or my new Romulan Science Destroyer. Um, I got it earlier this week. Um, I think it was uh, Monday or Tuesday I was able to get it. I actually got it, it's Tuesday, I guess right. I got it two days ahead of schedule because I had unlocked some uh, some uh, boxes and had enough low buy crystals to get enough Cuban Dations to get it early. Well, anyway, um, I really like this ship. Um, I had the uh, the Guardian uh, science vessel. I forget what the, what, what the Hanam or something like that it's called. Um, the, the free tier five ship that you get when you become a, an admiral and. Um, at level 40 and I I just think the ship is terrible um, I, I tried many different things I, I and I just couldn't get anything to work the way that I wanted it and uh, I was about to start grinding to get the um, the the Tal Shiar uh, destroyer because you could build that ship for a science character if you want you just won't have a bonus to auxiliary, flat bonus to auxiliary like you do with a science vessel. But I was going to do that, and I didn't. And, and then they released what the, uh, the anniversary ships were going to be. And so I went with that, and I said, well, let me just go for that and get this ship. And uh, it's a pretty uh, decent ship. In fact, I really like it. Um, I've... I've done some uh, play with it. I think I've tested it with every, uh, basically every STF uh, uh, race that you can. So like I've done it with the Borg, I've done it against the Tholians, I've done it with the Alachi. Um, no, not sorry, not the Alachi, uh, the, um, the Voth, I've gone up against the Voth. And then I've done some of the Tadawa uh, sector patrols uh, with it. And it, it's just, the ship has just performed so well. Um, so anyway, here you go, and let me show you what I've got on her, and probably what I was thinking about when I said Alachi, I have uh, the Alachi Dual Heavy Crescent Cannons, and um, let's see, that one's an accuracy with a critical chance times two, and uh, there's the stats on that, and if I go down here, and the stats are up around uh, 1,453.6 and then 969.1 DPS. Let me see, what was it up here? And 400, so yeah, so basically it, it's doubled from what you see in there. It's, they're quite good, pretty good. Um, and let's see, this one's a critical chance times three, that one. And that one's down here the same and then those I unlocked uh, reward packs and uh, so I actually got the mark 12s I earned those ones uh, critical chance times two plus damage and what is it down here 389 that's not bad for a turret and this one's a critical severity times three so I didn't get ones with accuracy uh, but they were mark 12 so I stuck with them and uh, I don't have one of the uh, special uh, torpedoes from reputation yet um, but I will be experimenting with the uh, with the Omega and then the one from the um, the Dyson rep the, the photonic uh, um, or well, the gravimetric photon torpedo and then I will be probably experiment with the Rymel hyper plasma torpedo with him but anyway this is just the run of the mill um, Mark 11, uh, very rare. Uh, it works pretty well. And and that's the uh, Solonay dual heavy proton cannon. Uh, its stat there says 622.7 proton damage, uh, and then uh, 415.1 DPS. And down here. Um, about 1272.7 and 
and 48.5 DPS. And, it, and I don't have anything on this ship boosting protonic weaponry, so that's why that's underpowered compared to the uh, disruptors. I have the full uh, Solene space set. The deflector array, the secondary deflector, uh, I guess actually that, that goes with this. Or is that on its own set piece? No, that's part of the, the, the four piece set. Um, anyway, no, that is part of the other um, uh, universal consoles that I don't have. So I don't have that, that ship yet or it's not out. I don't even know if I'm going to get it. Anyway, that's that. Uh, I have the kinetic cutting beam, obviously damage time. Everybody loves this. This is a, a, one of the best weapons in the game. Um, the uh, subspace field modulator, scorpion fighters, and engine battery in case I need to get out of dodge real fast. Okay, engineering consoles. I got a Mark 10 uh, fleet uh, neutronium with a plus turn. 18 kinetic damage resistance and uh, 0.8 and 18.8 all energy and 18.8 flight turn rate and then I've got a um, an RCS enhanced one with all resistance so another plus 10 to kinetic and, and damage and a plus 40 turn rate the, this ship turns fantastic with this setup in here um, it turns just like any old any old escort it's it's really wonderful <clears throat> And I've got a Mark 11 science flow capacitor with a minus threat and plus the plasma. So I'm adding a plasma dot to my non-plasma one. And I've got the uh, simulated module, uh, zero point conduit, which is good for power insulators and critical chance and an extra power to subsystems. And I was using the new car particle converter and the other build because I was using beam weapons and I don't really have beam weapons. It does give a a bonus to that, um, but I, so I'm not really getting that extra bonus to beam weapons unless it gives that bonus to the um, kinetic cutting beam. I'm not sure if it does. I don't even know if it really shows me on there if it does that, but it might give an extra bonus to that. Um, and then an extra bonus to Starship uh, power insulators and then particle generators, which is good because I do use particle generator. And uh, so there, there's that. That's a nice little um, console. And then I've got um, a Mark 11 rare uh, disruptor and then two uncommons. And as I get more funds in, that I can purchase off the exchange, I will put better ones in there. And perhaps I will put the uh, fleet ones in there when it gets to that point. So anyway, that's this ship in a nutshell. It's uh, pretty good. Um, let's see what's going on down here. Um, now, you know, because this isn't the Sea Store version, which isn't even out yet, but you do get a couple of abilities uh, just, just with uh, this space set and stuff that comes with this ship. And um, let's see, I get the um, advanced metaphasic shields. Basically... It's just like, um, it seems to be like at least emergency power to shields. Very similar to that, um, as far, especially in animation. Uh, let's see, that's 1,379.8 uh, shield regeneration for each facing, plus 15.8 shield power setting for 30 seconds. Let's see what this says down here. Uh, let's see, 20... Outgoing damage reduced by 20%. Flight speed rate turn reduced by 50% of current. Plus 600 all damage bonus resistance plus 50 to shield power setting. It's a little bit more powerful the whole way around, but it's um, it's it's basically it is a really enhanced version of, of uh, in my opinion now, of, of emergency power to shields. Um, then it has this uh, silly ability here when you're in uh, sector space, so you can jump forward two light years it's it's handy when you're doing it to Dallas sector patrols uh, so that would be it's worth there and um, and then uh, you can switch into tactical mode to give you your cannons uh, right now I'm in science mode obviously um, I'm trying to do slightly different on the uh, power tray here bill so if I want to use the, the, the numbers on my uh, 
on my Cyber Sniper gamepad that I use. Um, and I always run Subspace Field Modulator, and I probably use, as far as all my singularity powers, Quantum Absorption more than anything, and that's just with all my Romulan characters. I love that ability. I'm a tanking oriented type person. I do like to keep my shields and hull strength up as, as high as possible. And then I probably would use Plasma secondary. So I put those two in my power tray so it's very easy to get to them and, and to not be confused if I go to access them over here. Um, I do like O-Load quite a bit. The Singularity Overcharge because it just really boosts the power on all your weapons. Especially when you get up to level 5 on this. And I also do like Singularity Jump. But not as much as Quantum Absorption and the Plasma Shockwave. I just think those are really wonderful abilities. And so that's basically it. I got the, you know, he's a, he's a true science character. Um, uh, let's see, on my bridge officer abilities, I use uh, Tachyon Beam 1. I, I do like to do a lot of like power and shield drain stuff. Um, and that's a great ability to use in conjunction with the uh, target shield systems. And that'll re you pop those two at the same time, it will just start to drip down the shield strength and hull strength of the ship. Um, it's kind of amazing how fast it works. Um, and of course, Titan's Rift 1, uh, that's a wonderful ability. Um, another great ability that I am just uh, really becoming a very big fan of is Feedback Pulse 2, or, or 1. But Feedback Pulse is a really good um, tanking, almost like a tanking, but it's sort of like a protection shield ability. And all your incoming, well, it not all of your incoming damage, but almost half of your incoming energy damage is turned into an attack on your enemies, and it sends a Feedback Pulse out to them, so it's, it's awesome. And I... Uh, I like all my characters. I love emergency power to shields and engineering team too. Um, that's my engineering heal, and I'll have uh, some heals here that transfer shield strength, and then hazard emitters too. It's another two other two great abilities. And um, let's see, I'm in science mode right now, but I'll still go through what's here. I have um, torpedo high yield one. Attack Team 2. Um, cannon Scatter Volley 2. Okay. And on her, her uh, Tier 1 ability is a Torpedo Spread 1. Now if I switch on over to Tactical, um, I managed to get a boff off the um, exchange, I had Cannon Rapid Fire 3, and I wanted to put that in there. So, um, I have a serious punch on Cannon Fire in Tier 4 on uh, when, when I'm in attack mode. So, let me uh, do a little something here. Just uh, give you a little breeze of the ship alright and I'm just going to start moving I want you to see how well this turns I mean it is very this is it's like flying around the Defiant or something it's very nimble and I hit that she moves a little bit wider on that power, but if I hit my power to engines there, and I can just do donuts, and anyway, she's got, she can move when you need her to, so um, that's that. Uh, let me go, I did miss a power over here, of course. Over here, uh, what is it? Gravity Well 2. Um, 
next, I've been looking on the exchange. I haven't found one for a good price. But when I get a, a boff with Gravity Well 3, I will retrain uh, this character for Gravity Well 3 in that section. And so I will then have Gravity Well 3. But I love that ability. So um, these are probably some of my favorite abilities. And then Tractor Beam would be my next one, which I don't have it with this. But um, that Tractor Beam is another ability that I like. So anyway, um, I'm going to say thanks for watching. I'll catch you all on the flip side. And uh, when I come back, it will be um, a video showing off this ship in battle. So anyway, like I said, thanks again and catch you all on the flip side.